This year on the Stride Championship Series, we'll be featuring an all-new format with 16 of the world's best Halo Reach players duking it out for the title of 2011 Stride Champion. Our players have been split into eight teams of two and will be competing in a single elimination tournament with one 10-minute game of Team Slayer played in each round. Hello and welcome back to the Stride Championship Series. I'm Chris Buggy, your host, joined by former pro players turned commentators. You have Scott Lucier, better known as Gandhi, and Chris Smith, better known as Shockwave. Guys, we had an incredible first matchup between Ogre 2 and Pistola versus Amish, Acorns, and Adrenaline. Now we have the matchup, the one I've been waiting for. Roy and Lunchbox will be taking on Strongside and Eagle Might Warrior. Roy and Lunchbox, probably the best duo players who have been playing together since 2007 versus national champions in Strongside and Elamite. What do you guys expect to see in this matchup? I'm expecting to see the twins, Roy Box, prevail on top in this one. They, they've been playing together for so long. They've never been on an opposite team. Their teamwork is, is just incredible, and they have great chemistry. Yeah, and I'm pretty excited to see Elamite and Strongside play. These guys were actually on their first ever team when their first ever MLG tournament all the way back in Philly 2005. These guys have been around the block, they're best friends, and they're great, and they're great players. All right, so we're getting this one started right now with Roy from Instinct, and Roy's going to pick up the early sniper here. And we saw Final Boss do this exact same thing. As soon as you get that sniper, whoever, it seems whatever team gets that sniper at first wins the game. Yeah, and that sniper's really important. It's one shot to the head for a kill, two shots to the body. The fastest killing weapon besides from the grenade launcher on the map, controlling this weapon is going to help dictate the outcome of the game. And guys, let's talk a little bit. Let's give some background on Roy for those people out there who aren't very hardcore fans of Major League Gaming. Roy has been known for having one of the best shots, one of the most accurate main weapons out of any of the players on the MLG Pro Circuit. And on his past teams, he never was the main slayer. He always was that player who just got everything done. On this new Instinct lineup, he is the main slayer. We're going to see Roy drop 39 kills in this tournament, no questions asked. He's in my top five of players. And here we go. We have Lunchbox starting off the game with four early kills. Roy injuring players. You see Strongside doing a great job staying alive top middle. Yeah, Strongside, one of the sneakiest players in the game. Always trouble for all, every other player to kill him. He's always staying alive, which is awesome. And he's basically got a great shot. Sneaky player. These two twin brothers have been playing together basically since birth. There you see Roy going up against Elamite Warrior. Scares Elamite. He's going to pick up a kill with the grenade somehow. I think Elamite maybe have killed himself thinking Roy is going to drop down. But we're going to stay on board with Roy as he's going to pick up the evade. And Chris, talk to me about this power up. How do players use it to get around the map and, and how important is it to have? Oh, well, Chris, it's incredibly important to have. Instead of the normal sprint that all MLG players start out with, Evade allows you to move a really far distance in a very short amount of time, and it's almost impossible to hit you while you're doing this evade. So what you'll see is you'll see a lot of these players encounter the other team, lay a few shots down, and when they see that they cannot get the kill, back up, use the evade to escape. There you see, Roy's teammate Lunchbox is, is going to pick up the seventh kill. Roy, after injuring Ilamite with a perfect grenade shot, is going to go up the lift, finish off his own kill, and now you see him waiting for Lunchbox to get in position before charging out after strong side. And it looks like Lunchbox and Roy are going to do a wise decision here and back up, wait for the opponents to come to them. I'm very surprised that in their 2v2 playstyle, they're very passive. In 4v4, they are extremely aggressive, but in this, they seem to be taking their time and really taking it step by step. Well, it's a single elimination tournament, and I think these guys know the pressure that's on their shoulders right now. They have to win this game to advance in the bracket. Yeah, and what's really important, they know that they need to stick together in order to actually win this game. It's why they've been taking so much time during to make easily make a push. They want to make sure that whenever push they make is going to be successful. There you got oh. a jumping headshot by Lunchbox. Did not even scope. Jumps out, hits the no scope, picking up the ninth kill. Lunchbox leading all players right now with seven in this game so far. Yeah, and Lunchbox, we talked about it. He might be a top five player right now in Halo Reach. Incredible individual skill. His brother Roy seems to get the accolades for getting the best BR, the best DMR in the game. The lunchbox is always right there behind him. There you see him picking up another kill, taking out the sniper. That's huge, Scott, because now the power weapon is down top middle. And his brother's going to be able to pick it up. And Lunchbox is just doing a great job in this Stride Championship Series 2v2 at positioning himself to help his brother. You can't say enough. He's laid shots down on every single play. 
Lunchbox going to be cleaned up by a lifting strong side who takes him out with a headshot. We're going to switch over with the 2007 national champion. He is one of the biggest names on the MLG Pro Circuit. Fans all around the world love this guy, Chris. Yeah, and the reason is he's one of the nicest pros. Never seems to talk crap to the other teams, but at the same time, one of the most talented pros you have on the circuit. Strong side, of course, winning the 2007 National Championship with the Team Final Boss, is now playing in 2011 with Team Warriors. Here we got him chasing down. It looked like Roy running away from him in the holograms. But you see Strong side holding back. Is he waiting for the launch, or is he just holding down this top red position, Scott? He's just going to be holding down this position. He knew Elamite was under the base, so he didn't want to overextend and make himself vulnerable. So he waits for his teammate, and now they're going to make a push to take over the Roy and Lunchbox setup. Yeah, and I love this 2v2 team right here. I touched on it before the game. These two guys have been best friends for almost six, seven years now. They love playing Halo together. They've got great teamwork and great communication with one another. I'm expecting them to actually come back and put up a great fight. And as you mentioned before, Chris, this team has not teamed together since I believe 2005 or 2006. They've been two of the best players in the game, living about a half hour away from each other near Kentucky but they've never really teamed together recently. This is the first time we're seeing them on the same squad, and it, it kind of shows three. that they don't necessarily have the same teamwork that Roy and Lunchbox do, but it's very, very close. Yeah, right now, see 16 to 10 on the game score. I mean, Zell, it's a very, very good map, but these players really haven't practiced this two on two, so kind of raw teamwork right now is pushing through. You can see that they are competing with what is arguably the best duo on the circuit right now. UMI Warriors throwing down grenades, trying to stay alive, jumps back out, has both players from Instinct injured, takes down Lunchbox, he's looking for Roy, Roy jumps out the challenge, and Elamite, a smart decision to back up, wait for that shield, you see Strong Side there on the spiral, they have him pinched, and they're going to pick up the kill, great teamwork there, 17 to 12, remember we're going to 25, right now Elamite Warrior and Strong Side are down 5 halfway through this game. Elamite Warrior did a great job at staying alive there, and then popping out for it to help out strong side. When you pinch a player, there's nowhere they can go, and it normally leads to a guaranteed kill. Nice kill there by Elamite Warrior. Let's switch our players over to Roy. Roy doing huge work, and he just picked up the new grenade launcher. This is going to be huge. One shot with that grenade launcher anywhere near will drop their shields. If it hits them directly, it will take them out in just one bullet. Roy's going to be taken down, but Lunchbox is going to clean up his kill. And now as you see Lunchbox with no shield sprinting away, Roy's job is going to be to cover him. Yeah, and he did a great job right there. Lunchbox using that sprint ability to get all the way to bottom middle and hide from the from strong side and Elamite. The strong side and Elamite, for some reason, don't seem to be picking up this grenade launcher. They haven't used it the entire game. And it seems that every time a power weapon comes out, Instinct's taking advantage. Roy, knowing the escape routes, is going to catch his prey in midair, taking down Elamite Warrior. Now looking to angle this grenade launcher shot, looking for players up top. Lunchbox is going to call him out. Roy's going to move up behind him. There's the angle shot, trusting his brother. There's the nice, you see the assist kill with the splatter damage done by that grenade launcher. Perfect execution and teamwork out of this squad. And great communication here leads to the victory in this squad. I mean, you can't say enough about these guys. They've done so much and they've always been top competitors. Roy is going to be taken down, but Lunchbox picks up the 22nd kill. Lunch with no shields. Red Health is going to sprint away. Strong side trying to chase after him, but Roy is going to scare him back. Once again, the better teamwork is giving them the advantage in this game. You see both players running together on the map now. Lunch is going to go low. They're going to keep Roy high. And this is great right now because they're going to be able to sandwich their opponent right now and get two different angles so they're covering the escape route, the potential escape route that Victor, or Strong Side and Elamite would have. You see Lunchbox making his way down for the evade, just heard a lift. Misses the evade there through the lift, he's going to chill out down low. They're only three kills away from winning this game, but they do not want to give up any easy deaths. Lunchbox taking heavy shots, trying to get out. Perfect job by Roy to drop down, but Strong Side is going to finish the kill. Now Roy's fighting a two on one. Yeah, but Roy has got the shot to compete right now, making that one guy a one shot. 24 to 18, just one more kill for the red team as we're on board with Roy picking up the fresh grenade launcher. Lunchbox in front of him. He will be the bait. Roy going to look to clean up the final kill here. And there you see Lunchbox position in the sneaky grenade spot there. Roy is going to drop the shields with his grenade launcher. Lunchbox has dropped all the shields. Roy just needs to finish off a final kill. The grenades are going to keep the shield low. Elamite is going to pick up the health pack and sprint away. But Roy is right behind him. Strong side pushing in. Roy was looking at his brother's screen for a second. He's going to be taken out by Elamite. Lunchbox charging in. And Lunch is going to finish it strong. 25 to 19. 
Great job by Lunchbox and, a and uh, Roy. They got off to an early start, and they just kept their lead all the way through that game. It seems history does repeat itself because the first team who grabs the sniper so far in this Stride Championship Series wins the match. I think the biggest thing with that had to be the grenade launcher. You saw it in Roy and Lunch's hands all game long. You could see them getting assists, kills with it, control on the map. The teamwork from the Twins was incredible. And, you know, that grenade launch from Roy, when he's looking at his brother's screen and listening to the call out, bounces it off the ceiling and Lunchbox finishes off the kill. I think that was the play of the game. Perfect teamwork by Lunchbox and Roy. Congratulations to them. They will move on in our bracket and face off against Ogre 2 and I Got Your Pistola in round two. It's going to be a phenomenal matchup. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of the Stride Championship Series. I'm Chris Puckett for Gandhi and Shockwave. We'll see you next time.